Malta is an incredible European country with a long and interesting history. A diverse cultural identity and a people as warm and welcoming as the beautiful Mediterranean climate enjoyed in this archipelago of sunny islands. Maltese history is distinguished with many influences and cultures that have formed it through the centuries. And although the earliest written reference to Malta is found in the biblical account of St. Paul's shipwreck, the megalithic temples that still stand on the islands to this day are remnants of inhabitants that predate the Egyptian civilization. Found at the center of the Mediterranean Sea, between the southern tip of Sicily and the North African continent, it is the country's strategic location that has made it very attractive for regional powers since ancient times. The Phoenicians, the Romans and Arabs, the French and the British all came and went leaving their mark in many interesting ways. Valletta, the capital city, built by the Order of the Knights of St. John, is the smallest in the European Union and was deservedly recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site for its many historical buildings dating back to the 16th century. Its fortified Grand Harbour has been a renowned logistics hub for shelter and trade, and what used to be a hive of naval military activity for hundreds of years has today become one of the favourite ports of call for cruise liners bringing in tourists to enjoy its majestic beauty. Malta joined the European Union in 2004 and became part of the Eurozone in 2008. Its tax regime is amongst the most competitive in the EU, attracting substantial volumes of foreign investment. The Maltese economy is dependent on an effective English-speaking human resources base that drives financial services, tourism, real estate, iGaming, and other important sectors such as pharmaceuticals and IT services. Its booming economy has led to a subsequent expansion in the construction and real estate industry, which today contributes about 10% of the island's GDP. Malta's reputation for care and hospitality that started in the time of the Knights was further reinforced during World Wars I and II earning it the title the Nurse of the Mediterranean, which is still valid today as the country is still considered to be among the safest places in the world to live and work. Its beautiful ambience and climate, its people's hospitality and the good quality of life they enjoy are what makes Malta a top choice with international people for residents and investments. If you are on the road to pursuing happiness, Malta is the destination you've been looking for. And with more than 300 days of sunshine annually and endless leisure possibilities, it's not surprising that Malta ranks among the happiest places to live in the world.